because you had me fucked up like i fucked with you as a person but as a manager you're a bitch like you're a straight bitch like it's cool but you're a bitch business with you doing things switching lanes in the beamer with you you've been swimming in deep water save me from my sorrow swimming in deep got some pieces i need so why can i get that for free What's up, gang? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Nay, and I'm back with another video. Back with the story time. I know you guys love my story times, and today I'm gonna tell you guys about the time when my manager had me fucked up, and I had to quit, and bitch, I ended up in motherfucking jail. The fuck? I'll just get right into it. I'm gonna tell you guys the background, what led me up to being fed up, and everything, because my job had me fucked up. Fuck Applebee's. I used to work at Applebee's. I've been working at Applebee's for almost two and a half years. I've been working there for damn near three years. I was about to be 21. I was about to be a bartender. I was going to try and become manager. I was really trying to work my way up. I loved this job. You know, I love this job. I love the people there. I love the customers there. But my, my manager had me fucked up. My manager definitely had me fucked up. So my manager is pretty new to my location he's not new to applebee's but he's very new to our location and you know we just kind of met probably like a couple months ago i'm going to say around december type shit that's when he started working in our location and he's a very he's a good manager i'm not gonna lie he's a great manager he holds everybody accountable um and that's just that but for some reason He's always looking for more. And it's like, he's always looking for more out, out of me. And it's like, I go above and beyond throughout anything I do. I am, the, I try to be the most perfect person. I try to do my best. I literally go above and beyond. Like I said, there's no, there's always room for improvement. I know that. So, you know, when I'm at work, I give my best foot forward, especially because this is the way I make my money. I want to earn my money. I want to feel good while I'm making my money. So I'm going to put my best foot forward no matter what. You feel me? That's just how I am. I'm just a very hard worker and I want to earn my money because I know I'm not just going to get money thrown at me. And this is the job where I'm making tips, stuff like that. So I'm going to do my best. Period. That's it's no 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 other you know excuse but to do your best. I can see when I'm having a bad day, and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, I'm always doing my best. I'm always trying. I'm always putting my best foot forward. So for whenever I am doing something, and I guess my manager sees that it's not my best, or he thinks that I could be doing it way better. You know, I take the constructive criticism, but it's the way that he comes to me when he tells me to do certain shit, or when he tells me to fix certain shit, and. I'm the type of person who, you know, I don't like being told what to do. But when you're telling me something over and over and over again, and I'm doing it, I'm doing everything that you're telling me to do. What the fuck else do you want me to do? Would you feel me? Like, what else do you want me to do? I'm doing it. I'm, I'm, sat, I'm sitting here and I'm kissing your ass. I'm doing everything that you're telling me to do while your ass isn't doing shit. Uh, now, I understand you're a manager and everything like that. But that doesn't give you a right to tell me do this, that, and the motherfucking third. But then your ass is not doing shit. Make it fucking make sense. I hate managers like that who just want to fucking sit down and chill and, and not do anything. But then expect their employees to do everything. And then get mad when, you know, we're, 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 we can be a little laid back. You feel me? But that's, that's never me, though. It's never me. Like, I'm always doing my best. No matter what, I be busting my ass. I come home stressed out. I come home fucking, if I have a bad day, I will real life cry when I come back home in my bed. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so stressed out. Like, I should not have to think about my job when I come back home. I should not have to think about trying to improve the job and my managers and the people I work with when I come back home. But see, when you have a workplace, when everybody's just immature and childish, that's that's i guess that's what you need to do because i am the type of employee who when i see that people aren't really you know doing their best i'm gonna take the initiative like that's me I'm, I, I tell my manager about themselves everything because you know you can't expect something out of someone when you're not even doing it yourself you feel me you're not doing shit so why should i do shit it don't really make sense but see i've never not done shit so it's kind of like the fuck so yesterday i was scheduled look at your yesterday i was scheduled at 10 o'clock 10 o'clock okay i'm always working morning shifts boom so i woke up a little late i'm not gonna lie i woke up probably like 9 25 but i live about three minutes up the street from my job so all i had to do was wash my face take a quick little shower put my eyelashes on and get out the door literally that's all i did i left out the house at 9 50 
I called my job at 9.55 and I was going to say, hey, um, and here's the receipts right here. So I was going to be like, hey, um, I'm going to be a minute to two minutes late. I'll be there 10 o'clock on the dot, late, no later than 10.05. Nobody answered the phone. Nobody answered the phone. Nobody answered the phone, bruh. I called. Nobody answered. What the fuck? I did my part. I did my part. So, after I called, it was probably like two minutes later, 9.50, what, 6? I'm pulling in the, in the drive in, in the parking lot, and it's, what, 10 o'clock? I'm walking in the door. It's 10.01, and I walk past my manager. I was able to clock in because if you're super, super late, the system's not even going to allow you to clock in. It's not. So, you know, I was able to clock in. I swiped my card with no problem. I walked past my manager. I walked past everybody. And it's like a normal shift. And then out of nowhere, probably like 15, 20 minutes later after being there, you know, after putting my stuff together, you know, getting situated to actually, you know, open up the restaurant and, you know, start working, my manager comes to me. So he says something like, what are you doing? Like, why are you so late? Where'd you come from? When'd you get here? You know, just questioning me questioning me don't fucking question me what are you questioning me for bitch you know exactly why i'm here i work here bitch what's what's the confusion about so i said yeah i got here at 101 i know i'm a minute late but i tried to call and nobody answered and then here's this man go talking about some oh uh no that's unacceptable like you should never be late not even a minute late which i understand coming from a manager's perspective i understand and i'm taking accountability yes i should have never been late but then again it was an it was a minute i tried calling so what am i doing wrong you feel me what did i do wrong i wasn't even 30 minutes late. i wasn't even 10 minutes late bitch i was an hour i was a minute late why are you mad I could have called out. I, like I said, I could have been 30 minutes late. I could have slept my ass down there. But once I saw that it was 9.20, I'm like, damn, let me get the fuck up. I got to go to work. I got to pay my bills. I got to do what the fuck I got to do to maintain my life. You feel me? But then he he just, he's the type of manager who just wants to get the last word. He's childish. He's immature. He wants to get the last word. He, it, I guess it feels good to get the last word. Fuck, what are you gaining from getting the last word, bruh? You're not gaining shit. You look stupid. You look childish. You look like a kid. But I'm not complaining because at the end of the day, I know I kept it calm and collective. So after he started questioning me and all this stuff and, you know, I'm damn near kissing his ass. He gets to talking about some, well, you look like shit. You look like shit. You know, what do you do? Smoke and drink all, all the time? Like, what are you doing with your life? Smoking and drinking? Like, you really look like shit. Like, you just need to go home and, and like, start the day over. Like, you look like shit. And that's what stuck with me because it wasn't just me and my manager. And I, I can see, I probably would have toned down a little bit if it was just, you know, me and my manager, a one-on-one -on -one type of thing. But see, you go from telling me what I did wrong and mind you, we're in front of all of my coworkers, all of my coworkers. So everybody hears in the interaction between us two. I'm calm. I'm, like I said, kissing his ass. Like, okay, yeah, I understand. And here he goes, oh, you look like shit. Da 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 da. So I was going to ignore it. But being that it was in front of everybody, and I really felt like he just blatantly disrespected me just to get attention or just to feel good about himself. And it's like, I said, I was, an, I was a one minute late. A minute, bruh. One minute. I don't get it. <laughs> Why are you being disrespectful? You go from telling me what I did wrong to telling me about myself and telling me how I look. You don't do that. As a manager, you don't, you don't, you don't do that. You don't, you don't disrespect me outside of a workplace. Like, if you have a problem, then tell me what the fuck the problem is. But don't, don't start telling me that I look like shit and all I do is smoke and drink. Because that like where's the professionalism at how are you a manager yet you are telling like at that point you telling me that you trying to fight or that you want some war like what's up baby like bop I did not take that shit lightly i did not so he was telling me like oh yeah you should just go home since you look like shit like where were you up all night da, 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 da. and you know he just kept going so i'm like no i'm like 
Jimmy, calm down. Like, I've had a long morning. I'm not even in the mood for all that. Because he's the type of manager who wants to go back and forth. And me, bitch, I'm not about to go back and forth with you. You a grown-ass man. Stay in your fucking manager's place. Tell me what I did wrong. And we gonna fix it. And see, the problem is, I was, what, a minute late last time, too? And I, I don't know if he's mad because it's a repetitive being a minute late. But the reason why he didn't answer the phone when I called him is, bitch, and y'all gonna be like, really? Bitch, because his ass was fucking late, too. He was fucking late, too. And that's why he didn't answer the fucking phone. So, so like, make it fucking make sense. I don't get it. What did I do wrong? I did everything I had to do. I'm confused. I'm hella fucking confused. And I'm and I was really pissed off because he was telling me go home. He was telling me all this shit. And I had to work a double that day. I had to work a double that day. That's how I'm making my money in order to pay my rent, my bills. Yet you're sending me home. You know that our job just opened. You know that we're no longer getting unemployment no more. You know this shit. You know that nobody comes in the restaurant. Yet you're going to send me home for being a minute late. Cool. Cool. So I'm so fed up at this point. You know, every day at work is something new. You know, I, I could be portioning out a sauce. Like, for example, like putting sauce in a little bowl. This motherfucker going to say, if you're not going to fill it up all the way, then don't do it. But then if I fill it up all the way, then this motherfucker going to say, hey, don't fill it up all the way. We got to keep the sauce. And I'm just like, well, damn, what the fuck? Which one is it? He's always switching his words up. He's always, you know, saying one thing and doing another. Like, he don't really know what the fuck he want. And you know why? Because he don't know shit his damn fucking self. He wants everybody else to do shit for him, yet he don't do shit. But sit down on his laptop or on his iPad or his phone or in the office. Bruh. But yet, when you think some shit's popping, you want to show face and you want to try to help and do this and do that. Get the fuck out of my face, bruh. Get the fuck. Like, please. So, like I said, I was already fed up in everything. I was not. I'm like, man, you know what? Y'all stressing me the fuck out. And I really felt like him disrespecting me and telling me like how i look and stuff like that like i honestly don't care about his opinion because i know that i'm pretty you know but it's like I, I just really felt like that was uncalled for for being one minute late you know and just everything else just built up so many built up emotions towards him and towards um this my job it caused me to kind of like have an outburst and kind of like to go crazy and i've never really experienced me like this before but i was all hell break loose like i was not going through this shit no more and i really wanted him to understand how i felt because it feels like no matter how many times like i tell him hey can you not talk to me like that or hey um i'm trying my best you know be easy on me you know it'll be cool for a couple days but then the the extra shit comes right back and it, it puts me in a place where it's like this or that like you know my happiness or money you know my happiness or or stress in order to pay my bills and at the end of the day i want to be happy you know as i know that i don't have a job right now i know that i have to pay all these bills right now but at the end of the day like i'm going to find a job so it's okay at the end of the day i know that um i'm, I'm gonna be straight so it's, it's it's okay but i'm not i'm no longer stressing from my job no more and i'm happy about that you feel me i'm happy about that shit so I left, and like I said, all hell broke loose. I was not going through this shit no fucking more. And I needed him to understand that. Like, I really needed him to understand that. And I know a lot of people are going to be like, nay, you should have never uh, had those thoughts, or you should have never tried to do some crazy big wild shit. But no, like at the time, I know I, know I shouldn't have. But at the time, I was like, yeah, nah, like, you got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. So I went to Walmart, and so I had three little... I had three fucking things that I was had lined up for this man because you had me fucked up. Like, I fucks with you as a person, but as a manager, you're a bitch. Like, you're a straight bitch. Like, it's cool, but you're a bitch. Um, and so I had three things lined up. I was going to fuck up the inside of the restaurant, but I decided not to do that. I fucked up the outside of the restaurant and I threw all of their little chemicals away so they can't fucking disinfect the coronavirus mm-hmm they had the little bottles like this it was like 
10 of them bitches. I said, and all them bitches fell off the fucking table and bust the fuck open. Now kiss my ass, bitch. What you gonna clean the coronavirus with now? Hmm. And then second, I was gonna poke three holes in that motherfucking tire because you got me fucked up. And then I know insurance can't fix that shit. So how the fuck was you gonna get home? Because he believes it's probably like 45 minutes from where we work. So yeah, bitch, you was gonna be stranded. And then I was gonna take the spray paint and I was gonna spray it all over the fucking windows. Mm, mm, mm. And I didn't care at all. So when I left, I called my friend and I'm like, bitch, I'm about to go fuck this shit up. I'm about to vandalize every motherfucking thing, bitch. And so they was like, don't do that. You don't, 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 don't. But I'm like, nah, gonna be fucked up. This, I'm, and I'm gonna feel 10 times better after I do this shit. So I went up to the Walmart. I bought the spray paint. And uh, this was after I did the, the, the shits down. I bought the spray paint. And then I went back up there. And then I went into the parking lot beside my job. Now that's everybody i guess saw me and i was trying to open up the spray paint and i had like a little hoodie on with a little mask you know i was bitch i was i was yeah i was in my bag like he really took me to that point and i'm like i said i never gotten like this before like i damn i think i'm crazy but so i had my little mask on i was like nobody gonna fucking tell it's me but you know you, you can tell it's me my short ass so you know i'm over here trying to open up the spray paint and next thing you know my friend was like nay nay what are you doing and I'm like, oh, no, I'm chilling. I'm just minding my business. Like, Jimmy got me fucked up. So I'm about to fuck his shit up. Per. And she was like, nay, chill out. Like, everybody can see you. Go back home. And I'm like, all right, I'll be back later. But I was just so fucking mad. Like, I was still just so mad. And I was like, no, nah, I'm not going home, bro. I, I, I need to do something. I need to do something to, for, so he can understand how he's making me feel. Because this isn't just based off one, one you know, ex little altercation. This is... This is months. This is feelings of and emotions built up from months. Okay, so I parked. I like left out the parking lot, and then I came back and I parked beside his car. And I guess me parking beside his car, he got so fucking scared, bro. Like for some fucking reason, his ass was scared that I parked beside his car. Why the fuck is you scared that I'm beside your car? I'm not doing shit. I'm literally sitting inside of my car. And you being a little pussy pussy because I'm sitting beside your car. What the fuck? Oh, are you scared, man? I'm literally just chilling. I had his car and I was literally just chilling. Like, I literally was just chilling. Uh, I kind of parked beside his car just because I wanted him to come out. And I wanted to talk because, I, you know, I was so mad. But I didn't do shit other than uh, smack the chemicals down. But I wanted to get some understanding as to why you were being so disrespectful. Because I don't understand that. Like, me being one minute late does not cause someone to be disrespectful towards me and talk about how I look and how I carry myself and stuff like that. Like, I would never even talk about somebody like that. Like, I would never tell somebody they look like shit. Oh, all you do is smoke and drink. Like, personally, I would never do that to somebody. Like, especially if, if I was a manager at that never ever like who does that so long story short people just kept coming to my car like annoying the shit out of me and i'm like bro can y'all leave me alone bro i'm mad and when i'm mad i need to be unmad without every motherfucking body in my face i can't fucking do this and that i can't chill and chill out and calm down when i got 10 motherfuckers in my face i can't I just can't, you know? I can't. I have badass anxiety. So just think about how that shit's making me feel. That I'm getting worked up now. Now I'm getting hella worked up. Because I got Jim, Sarah, Tim, Bob, and all these motherfuckers. Nay, 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 nay. Bruh, get the fuck out of my face, bruh. Move. Bye. I'm trying to get my shit together. But I can't because I got boom, 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 boom all in my damn area. All in my fucking bubble. Get out. You leave me alone. I quit. Why are you in my face? But I understand. They were concerned and I don't fucking know. So then the manager, my manager called the police. So people start coming back and was like, oh my gosh, Nay, you need to leave. He called the police. And I'm like, I don't care. Like, I'm chilling in my car. What are you calling the police for? What are they going to do? Because I'm chilling in my car. What's the problem? What's the issue? I, 
Apparently, I'm banned, though, for life. Apparently, I'm banned from Applebee's for life. <laughs> okay, so the police came to my car, like, after probably, like, 10 minutes, 8 minutes, not even 20. They came to my car probably, like, 8 minutes later, and they were like, what are you doing? And I was like, nothing. I just uh, quit, and I'm about to go find another job. I'm just a little upset. He was like, oh, okay, that's fair. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I'm just chilling right now. But at that point, bitch, I didn't know that I was uh, banned for life. The fuck? This motherfucker ain't never tell me you can never come back to Applebee's. The last thing this motherfucker said to me was, go home because you look like shit. <laughs> That's the last thing he said to me. So how the fuck, I, how the fuck was I supposed to know that um, I'm, I'm never allowed on this property? Bitch, I was just, I, I was just an employee uh, damn near an hour ago. Make it make sense, bitch. You should at least told me. Uh, so, the man gets to tell him, coming over here, was like, so the manager just said that you're banned for life, you're barred for life, so this is now considered trespassing, and then all this shit, and then as the, kept, as the man kept coming to me, as the police officer kept coming to me, everybody from my job kept, like, running out of the fucking door, and I'm like, bro, can y'all chill out, bro, like, can I just talk to this man, like, this is the only man who, who don't know what's going on for real, everybody else know what's up, this man don't know what's up, so y'all is acting like it's a huge problem when it's really not it's not a problem at all but then everybody kept coming up and i guess the officer was getting like frustrated and furiated too and he was just started like turning up like he just he was really turning up he started saying stuff like get the fuck like i'm gonna arrest everybody you know like stand back and i'm in the middle of an investigation da 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 da, da. and then it was my little sister because my me and my little sister work together now and she was just like, that's my sister. That's my sister. I was, I was really just in my car. So I'm like, why are y'all doing too much? I'm like, chill out, bruh. This ain't even about y'all. I'm like, chill out. Like, because I'm chilling. Why is y'all not chilling? And then everybody, like, I'm mad. I'm worked up to the point where, like I said, I had to park. And, and at that point, I was calming myself down. But then everybody kept coming. So I was getting worked up. But I was still, like, pretty calm. So I was in the car and everybody yelling and shit. And then I'm just like sitting in the mirror looking. And then the police officer right there telling everybody like calm down in the middle of the investigation. Go inside. Da -da 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 -da. He's like that's it. I'm going to start into a breast. And he didn't, read my, he didn't read me my rights or nothing. He literally, he literally opened my door, yanked me out the car and like arrested me. And see I was a little mad because I felt like if everybody from my job would have stayed the fuck inside. Like it would never came down to me getting fucking arrested. But then again, I do know that I was I should have left. But me being so mad, I'm like, bitch, I'm not going nowhere. You don't tell me what the fuck to do. I'm, you know, no, 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 no. Thank you. I'm grown. Thank you. But I was going to eventually leave. Uh, I just felt like everybody kept coming outside trying to be nosy for real. Um, it kind of like instigated more and more shit happened than what could have happened, you know? So I got arrested and basically this man tried to say that I punched him and he tried to say that I was resisting. Uh, so I have four charges, failure to obey, resisting arrest, uh, disorderly conduct and trespassing like bitch trespassing. What? So I was in the jail cell for about 10 to 11 hours. I didn't get out of there till like nine o'clock. I got in there from till like at fucking like 12. And I've never been in jail before. I've never been in the back of a fucking police car before. And so it was a really weird and kind of scary experience, but I wasn't like scared. I was more so at that point in mind my mindset was kind of like, I don't even care what happens anymore. You know, if I get locked up, bitch, I'm going to get locked up. If they don't let me go home, I don't even care because it's like, I don't have a job now. It's kind of like, I got to pay all these bills by myself. I'm sad. I'm depressed. I kind of just like, whatever happens, happens, you know? I truly do not care. And I hate when I'm like that. But so we was in the jail. We did the fingerprints and everything. They gave me some shoes because when I got arrested, uh, the man fucking my slippers came off. So they gave me some shoes. And then that's when we was literally me and my little sister. We were literally just sitting in the jail cell together like fucking idiots. And I was just taking hella fucking naps like shit. I was taking naps after naps after naps like bro, you would not. I was not awake. I was really chilling. Hi, boy.
boy. So when uh, we was in the jail cell, I found out, I found a little phone and I called my mommy. I was like, I'm in jail. She was like, why? And I told her like what happened before I even did anything. I was like, I'm about to quit. I'm about to turn up. Like, yeah. And so, mm -hmm. so I talked to the commissioner and basically, you know, I have my court date on November 26th and I'm just really upset because I felt like, you know, everything definitely could have been prevented if one, my manager, you know, could have just been very professional with the way he came at me. Two, if I uh, handled and controlled my anger because I've never been so crazy like that. Like I've never wanted to just vandalize something before. Like I've never was yelling at the police officer like i wasn't yelling at him but when he was like he was yelling at my sister and he was like go away i'm in the middle of an investigation he was just like i don't know if you were it was kind of like happening all too fast but i was saying stuff like stop talking to my sister like that i'm like i ain't no bitch she ain't no bitch stop talking to us like in jail cell bro i was in there me and my little sister we were just sitting in there looking at each other it, it just imagine like a, a big bathroom and it was two beds in that joint at the corner it was a metal little baby nessie little toilet with a sink and the sink was like a water fountain and then plus a sink i've never been to jail before i've never fucking got charges before so this shit was like damn what the fuck so uh and then it was like a little prepaid phone bruh mm -mm -mm. then the man had the nerve to be like you want some food i was like sure yeah i want some food hungry as fuck Bro, that food was nasty as shit, bro. They gave me some nasty ass looking motherfucking beefaroni with motherfucking baby carrots, motherfucking two slices of bread, bitch. It wasn't even toasted. One little slither of butter, motherfucking cornbread, and a little ass portion of salad with some flavored water. I'm like, I'm not eating this shit. But I tried it. I tried the shit for my little sister. My little sister was fucking hungry. So I tasted and tested the fucking food for her. Everything I ate, she ate right after me. I'm, I'm, I'm like the best sister, and aren't I? I didn't want to eat that shit. I didn't want to eat that shit. But I tested it for my sissy. Yeah. We both ain't eat the shit, though. It was nasty. Nasty as fuck. And I'm drinking the juice because they said it was juice. <laughs> I'm drinking the juice. I'm like, this shit nasty as shit, bro. What the freak is this? I dip my finger in there. I'm like, this juice don't even got color, bro. What the? This joint clear as fuck. My sister poured down the little toilet and we just looking at it go down. This shit is motherfucking flavored motherfucking water talking about some motherfucking juice juice my ass i don't even like juice but i was like damn motherfuckers who be in jail really just mm, i can't I, mm, i'm never coming back never but man that man had me fucked up like so fucked up but eventually i got out of there at like nine o'clock and you know everything was good um i still am in a placement where i'm kind of like dang what am i about to do with my life because now it's like i don't have a job i kind of quit but then again i feel very um ready like usually i would be so down like oh my gosh like i need to find a job da, 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 da. but part of me feels secure part of me is like i know i'm gonna get a job i know i'm going to find a way I'm, it's gonna be 10 times better and i'm not stressing at all about it you know i'm stressed but i'm not like stressed as i was when i was working at applebee's you know i feel like quitting definitely put lifted a lot of emotion and a lot of stress off of me and I feel like it's given me the opportunity to now flourish. I've learned so many things working at that restaurant. Um, and I'm just ready to use what I've learned. Um, I'm ready to use what I learned in, for my future. You know, I'm ready to use it in another workplace. I'm ready to show other people my skills. Because 
that was the place who they really didn't really care much about you. You know, they just cared about the job. And I want a job who that's going to care about their employees as well as the job. You know, no job should put the job before their employees. And that's how that job is. I know a lot of places who put their employees before the actual job itself. You know, if I'm sick, these motherfuckers would still tell me to come in to work. Like, that's the dirtiest shit. Like, that's dirty as fuck. That's just how they are, though. They don't care. They don't care about you. They don't care about shit, but, you know, making money for their little ass franchise. That's what the fuck is. That's all they care about, for real. It's crazy. So, yeah, thanks for watching, you all. Um, Definitely let me know down below how you feel about this situation. I know that it, it was a lot to do on my end um, with the outcome. Um... But I was so upset, bro. I was so just down bad. I didn't know what to do. I didn't know how to feel. And it was just so much stuff that I'm thinking about. Like, my rent is up July 31st. Uh, I need to find another job because I now literally live by myself. I have no roommate. Um, you know, some of you guys know I got into a car accident. So the car that I'm paying for now, you know, I'm blessed that I can pay for my, or I, yeah, I guess I can't pay for it. But it's just everything is is starting to take a toll on me now. And it's more than what I expected. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I really feel like I'm becoming who I should be. Um, and, you know, it gets worse before it gets better. Uh, that's definitely what I need to go by. It gets worse before it gets better. I need to stop trying to control things that I can't control. And just, you know, try to control the outcome because that's really what is, that's really what matters. Um, so, yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's kind of what happened yesterday in my life. Um, definitely pray for me because I don't know how this court date's about to go. I'm really scared. Kind of. I don't want to go to jail, bitch. What the freak? But, you know, bitch, I took a damn mug shot and everything. Oh, my God. But, yeah, I'm going to go find another job. I'll see y'all later.